Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Bondi Blue and I am back for another family or fiance. Y'all, family or fiance ain't came to play with y'all. Okay, this season so far has been very good. I mean, it's the same season as the last one because, you know, they be gone for a year and then they come back with the jump off, but it's still the same season. I don't understand what's going on no more. <laughs> it's not like it used to be, Lord. But you know what? I'm excited because the show was good. So let's go ahead and get into it. It was LaShonda in Dre's episode. First of all, Shonda is cute as a butt. Okay, just, you know, we're talking about off the physical. Dre is very, you know, nice looking, light skinned. Okay, like we got to put that out there. All right. But he has everything that she could have ever prayed for and some things that she didn't even pray for. Okay, he is everything to her. All right. She is a single mother of two daughters and he is a real step parent. He wants to adopt them. They're planning on getting married soon. He's a celebrity DJ. OK, he's used to being the single guy. So this transition has not been very easy for the family and his family doesn't really know her that well and her family doesn't really know him that well. So both families are apprehensive right now. Her dad and sisters are coming, I think. And his mom, his sister, and his best friend are, are coming to be there, you know, as the family members. Brandon is Dre's friend. And Brandon is a hating ass leech that is just mad that the person who was getting him all the cooch is now going to be at home with his wife and children instead of being out in the clubs with him helping him get snatch. You've basically taken this single man's life from him by taking his, you know, kind of sort of famous best friend. LaShonda feels as if Brandon is a bad influence. Brandon is a bad influence, okay? And I know it might sound bad, but we've already talked about this on my channel, how friends, men's friends can be very influential on them. Like, especially in a pack, all right? But if it's just two of them, you can just about guess that that friend has some type of influence stronghold on the other friend, you know, especially when it comes to men who aren't very strong-minded. Dre is not very strong-minded. He may be strong-willed. But he's not like vocal. He's not going to be as bothered by things as LaShonda would be. Hell, even I would be. Okay, me and LaShonda was on the same accord with a lot of this stuff. Okay, I'm just saying Brandon had to go. It just it was it was plain to see and from the very beginning. It was just plain to see that he needed to go on the way from them with this because he's just hating on the entire thing because it's something he doesn't have. It's another thing that his friend has that he doesn't have. And he can act like he doesn't want it, but you're getting old. You do. <laughs> you do. You wish you had you a cute little high something to come into your life for you to fall in love with so you can stop worrying about what your best friend and his old lady doing because you got too much time on your hands. The families get there, and of course, the there's some complaining about the rooms. I've never seen them complain about the rooms on this show, but apparently they put three twin-size beds in one room for her daddy uh, and two sisters. And I did feel like, damn, y'all couldn't even give us some full-size beds in this big old mansion, and y'all give us one room? That did seem kind of flaw. I'm just saying. I, I would probably would have said something, too. Like, what the shit are we in, a three-bedroom? This is ridiculous. But the main issue for the families is the adoption situation. Everybody is worried about that. How does the biological father feel about Dre coming in and adopting the children? Like, he has to be okay with it. A lot of them feel like that. Something about that wasn't bothering me initially, but now that I'm thinking about it, it kind of bothers me. If somebody is not involved in their children's life the way they should be or where they need to be, I don't think everybody in the family should be worrying about what the hell he needs, okay? We need to be worrying about what these kids needs and what the, what the mama needs because the one the mama is the one with them every day. So the mama need help. The kids need a father figure. And that man ain't nowhere around. This man is. We should not care about that man's feelings. If that man is worried about being a father to his children, that's a conversation that he need to have with LaShonda and Dre. But everybody else worrying about what the pappy want when the pappy ain't around bothers me now that I'm thinking about it. Also, Brandon wants to know if LaShonda can take being cheated on. Because since Dre is a celebrity uh, DJ, he's always out around all the groupies. And is LaShonda going to be able to deal with his lifestyle? If he makes a mistake, is it all going to be over? Brandon, why is that a worry of yours? Why is that something that you would even say? Oh, she has to be okay with being cheated on. Somebody should kick you in your good eye. 
LaShonda and Dre talk alone and she's upset about how everyone thinks that because they want Dre to adopt the kids they're trying to alienate the bio dad that's not what she's trying to do at all and everybody's worry about him I'm sure is obnoxious to her because it's like why are y'all not worrying about me and the kids and what we need why are y'all worrying about what this nigga need this nigga ain't even nowhere around where is he does anybody see him okay like he's not involved like that you know, so I just kind of, like I said, that was problematic for me, just like it was problematic for her. So LaShonda tells his family that he takes care of her kids. He's been there for her. And, you know, they've been in the hospital. He's been the person sitting up in a chair all night trying to make sure that the kids are OK. He has been there in a capacity that makes her trust him as a parent to her children. And he's also given them a father figure that they don't have. So it's not like somebody's already doing it. You know what I mean? He's filling the space for them. Brandon said that her daughters looked like they had different daddies. And that's what really started the altercations between LaShonda and Brandon. He thought it was okay to say over the phone to Dre that are you sure her kids had the same dad because they look so different and one of them is nice looking and light skinned and she's going to be the pretty one and the other one you know don't get me wrong she has a great personality but yeah so basically commenting on the looks of her mind you seven and nine year olds you're a grown man. You should not have anything to say about the physical the physical attributes of a seven and nine year old child, first of all. Second of all, I know you think you're being honest and truthful and blunt, but really you're being a hater ass asshole that says anything about his mouth and is lucky his friend is too docile to chin check him. That's what's really going on here. Because the fact that he even thinks it's okay to say that and Dre does not do anything to check him, doesn't tell him to stop, doesn't say, whoa, 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 you going too far. Like there's no moment when that happens. It's, oh, uh, I understand what you're saying, bro. You know, he might have not said it the right way, but I understand what you're saying, bro. That was the conversation the entire show. Even Brandon kept saying over and over again, maybe I didn't use the right words. No. What you don't understand is you shouldn't have been commenting on how they look either way. And the bigger picture here, and the bigger picture here is that you're trying to make it seem as if she's some alley cat. And those were his specific words, okay? That you can take the, the cat out the alley, but you can't take the alley out the cat. So she has to be less than y'all. That's what you're saying, that she's less than y'all. She's lying about the paternity of her children. And obviously, because the kids don't look exactly alike, they must not have the same pappy. You are speaking down on this woman and saying such messed up things about her character. And when she gets upset about it, everybody wants to act like she's overreacting. Y'all, out. my mind was about to explode watching this episode because all of the men sit there and act as if she's having female emotions like as if they female female male emotions. there's no such thing there's no such thing if you think that you're an idiot you men are just as emotional y'all just go straight to angry she goes straight to angry but because she's upset about you saying something about her children not all of a sudden oh she's just having female emotions there's no such thing there's no gender attached to emotions y'all sound ignorant as hell OK, there's no gender. There's no sex. None of that is attached to emotions. We all have the same emotions. OK, just about different things and at different levels, but the same emotions, happy, sad, angry. <laughs> OK, like same, same range of emotions. Stop acting like somehow you having a penis means that when you have the emotion, it's called something different. It's not. I'm just saying, y'all, that really upset me, okay? That just really, really upset me. LaShonda made the point that the fact that Brandon is even still in the wedding festivity shows that she didn't go as hard as she could have went. What bothered me the most, though, was seeing the women. The only person that was really speaking up for LaShonda was her sister, uh, Symmetra, uh, uh, Asymmetra. It, child, her name sound like something in a mathematics class, okay? The oldest sister who looked almost just like her. Very beautiful. All three of those daughters that that man have are very beautiful women. Um, but either way, only one of the sisters like really, I mean, they probably only showed so much of it, but she was the one I saw defending her sister the most. It seemed as if all of the other women, even if they didn't agree with what the men were saying, were still sitting there not saying anything like 
Dre's mom and sister obviously didn't agree with everything that Brandon was saying. They just kind of turned their head and not say anything. That made me mad. Like, stop making that lady feel like she crazy by not defending her or, or helping her make these men understand that they're fucking idiots right now. I'm sorry, there was nowhere else to say that. No way else to say that. Brandon says that he apologized for the words he used, but not what he said. Like, that was basically it. I just, I can't. Anyway, so Dre talks to LaShonda's family and they worry about LaShonda's anger issues. And the father says that LaShonda is the only child of his that will disrespect him. And he has to like get her together and then reel her in and all of this. At first, we weren't really sure. We could tell that LaShonda is high spirit, spirited, gets upset, gets emotional about things quickly. We got that. But it wasn't anything that any mother wouldn't get emotional and upset about. So I just kind of was like, I'm waiting for her to pop off the way they keep acting like she pops off. To me, it's somebody who knows exactly how they feel, how to communicate that and say that, and y'all just don't like it because y'all want her to shut up. It's not that she's wrong. Y'all just don't want her to say it. Like, to me, that's what it seems like. At dinner, Brandon tells LaShonda not to take him at face value because he wants her to take a deeper dive into his personality because like Dre feels like, oh, you have to know him to, you know, understand him. I feel like even when somebody does know him, there's still a misunderstanding that's going to happen because he is disrespectful. And only the, only the fact that you're docile, any other man that had a stronger personality would have probably knocked Brandon's ass out by now for talking about the woman the way he talks about LaShonda. Shonda. He called your woman an alley cat. A alley cat. We get back on the conversation about the comments he made about LaShonda's kids. And he keeps saying that he apologized. But then her dad chimes in and says that she took it the wrong way and she's being overly emotional. She gets up and walks away at this point. And I was like, LaShonda girl, that is exactly what I would have done. Because it's like, before I sit here and curse every single one of y'all out at this table, let me get up and walk away. Dre follows her upstairs and she says that he never takes her side. And if she was ever going to forgive anything that Brandon had said, the conversation at the table killed it because it seemed as if Dre, the daddy, and Brandon were all trying to gang up on LaShonda and tell her that she was being too emotional about Brandon and taking it the wrong way that Brandon commented on the looks of her children. Y'all done lost y'all damn mind. <laughs> y'all done lost y'all damn mind. And I'm telling you right now, a grown man should not have had that to say. And any grandfather that would sit there and be okay with that has his own issues that he needs to work through. And we saw that. We're going to get to it. The next morning, they talked to Tracy about what Brandon said about the kids. And Tracy, thank you, Jesus, validates the way LaShonda and I feel that no, Brandon should not have had anything to say. And Dre took a side when, he, when the first thing that comes out of his mouth is that he understands where Brandon is coming from. Not where LaShonda is coming from, where Brandon is coming from. You've clearly picked a side. <laughs> and that is the problem that you're picking the side of your friend instead of your woman who you want to marry especially when she has a father in the room that's not picking her side either who she already has issues with from childhood which is also a part of her anger but to me it's not like they're not inciting said anger. She has a reason to be upset. She's not flipping out for no reason the way they try to make it seem like she does. But Dre needs to speak up and I'm glad that Tracy said that to him. Then she makes them look in each other's eyes, but LaShonda starts to cry, all right? So then they go and have a conversation with the father together, like, you know, family conversation together. And they talk to her dad, and while she's trying to tell him how she feels about how he doesn't take her side and that she needed his support, and he didn't give his support to her, he gave it to Brandon last night at the table. She's trying to explain that to him. He says, oh, that's not true. You know, I'd walk 40 miles over hot coals for you. And she says, yeah, but last night, daddy, you you didn't you didn't have my my back you didn't have my side you didn't support me in a situation but he gets upset because he don't want to hear this y'all know how some parents can be they don't want to hear that they've done something wrong from their child they don't want to hear that so instead of taking it for what it is which is your child trying to tell you they need you to change your emotion so that they can stop feeling like shit about themselves you with a drink in your hand I felt like the daddy was drunk I feel like the daddy is probably a functioning alcoholic and that's because I was raised by one but my daddy also had a certain level of um, understanding for having girl children especially as we got older he definitely pulled back on 
the way he would, you know, speak and talk to us. I mean, especially with me. When I got older, um, I, I could recognize sometimes when my dad would want to say something, you know, but instead of saying, he just kind of give me a look. <laughs> which I feel like is better than what LaShonda's dad does, which is stand there and tell everybody that he can't mold his life for a woman's emotions. She's just having woman's emotions right now and that's not going to rule his life. And I'm like, my nigga, you got three daughters and you're going to stand up here and tell me that having three girl children did not change or mold your life in any type of way. That is sad. That means you failed in some way. If your children did not have an effect on you emotionally, they are girl children, which means they should be handled as such. It's not the same as having boy children. You can't be as real and as raw with your girl children as you can with your male children. Now, some of you niggas do it anyway. Not exactly the right way to handle it, especially when you are almost a male chauvinist with three girl children. So for you, women are just supposed to shut up. They're just supposed to be quiet. Their emotions are supposed to be, you know, subtle and, and quieted because the man said something. That is the energy that the dad was given this entire time, which is why he took Brandon's back, which pissed his daughter off and hurt her because she's saying to him in a respectful way, I need you to understand where I'm coming from, daddy. I need you to hear me. But instead, he's mad that somebody even told him he handled it wrong. You ain't going to tell me how to father. Okay, my nigga, that's fine. But you're wrong, brother. You're wrong. Then Brandon takes Dre to the side to tell him that the way LaShonda disrespected her father was ridiculous. I mean, it was just out of pocket. And the last thing that Dre wants is for her to handle him the way she handled her dad or for her daughters to get like that and handle him that way. So he really needs to think about it because that's the thing that really worries Brandon is that LaShonda is going to walk all over him the way she blew up on him. They know she blew up, but that, that was too much. I said... So you gonna sit up here and act like this girl disrespected her daddy because she was telling him how she felt? See, that's the thing about like some kids. Me and Lyric like differ about this. I didn't grow up feeling like I couldn't voice my opinion or my opinion or how I felt was going to be taken as disrespect every time I said something. You know, it's sometimes with that, I don't care. Like it's not disrespect just because I'm telling you something and I'm being matter of fact. I'm an adult and you raised me to be this way. So I'm going to be as respectful as possible. It's with all love and due respect, but I'm going to say how I feel. And that's just that. Lyric feels like you're not supposed to say how you feel. You're supposed to sit there and be quiet because if you say something, you're being disrespectful. So that must be how Brandon feels that, you know, the parents don't owe you anything. You know, they've given you. I said, first of all, that's not true. OK, now, when you're an adult, if your parents have done right by you, they don't owe you anything. They've done right by you. They've taken care of you. You're an adult. Now they don't owe you anything. But they do owe you some type of emotional comp compassion because you are their children. <laughs> like at the end of the day, you owe them love because you had them. OK, it wasn't their choice to be here. It was yours to have them. So it's your responsibility to take care of them. So I'm sorry, parents. Y'all don't get a fucking cookie because y'all took care of y'all kids. That's what y'all was supposed to do. And it was a choice that you made to have them. Now, good kids are always happy and appreciative once they've gotten older and they look back and realize they had great childhoods or they had loving parents when some of their friends didn't. Then you get the appreciation. But all in all, parents are the ones that aren't really, you know what I'm saying, old shit, ultimately. Like, you're not really old any of that because you decided to have a kid. Some of y'all might, you know, disagree with me, but that's just how I feel. Trust me, I am very respectful of my parents. At least I try to be, okay? Like, I definitely respect them. But at the same time, you did not raise me to be docile and not speak up when I feel some type of way. And you also didn't make me feel like saying something to my parents would make me disrespectful. It's just the way you say things. So I was watching the way she was talking to her dad and it, it was not disrespectful. So Brandon is just doing the absolute most. And it's anything he can say or do to make LaShonda look like a bad person. And that shit was working on my nerves in a deep way, in a profound way. And this one, he made that comment about you can take the cat out the alley, but not the alley out the cat. LaShonda was upstairs with the window open and heard the entire conversation. So they go and talk to Tracy and she says that she overheard what was going on and she's over it. OK, she's over the Brandon situation and he's still letting his friend get away with talking crazy about LaShonda. Dre just kind of stood there. Now, Dre did say that her relationship with her father is, you know, she 
feels like he doesn't respect her, even though she does respect him. She doesn't feel like she's getting that in return. And I can see that based off of that conversation that they had. I could totally see that. But parents get into this place where they feel like they're above reproach. That is not realistic. <laughs> it's just not. But she doesn't want Brandon in the wedding anymore. She doesn't want him in the wedding. And if Dre doesn't feel right about that, then I guess they not getting married because you telling me who is more important to you. And that's your friend. And we can't get married if that is the case. Tracy explains to him that he needs to draw a line in the sand at this point. You are no longer a kid. You no longer rely on your friends. You rely on the family that you make. And if this woman is your family, then you need to make decisions in order to make her feel supported in that way. But the way she was upset, but then turned to him and she said, I do want to reciprocate the love to you because he was like, I will do it. I will tell him that he can't be at the wedding. I will tell him I will cut it off because I love her, but I need her to understand that things take time and I am going to do it. I just need her to understand and reciprocate the love that I'm giving her because he still loves her, even though she's mad. So, you know, she says, I am reciprocating. I'm just scared as hell right now. I am very scared about this whole Brandon situation. And so when she turned to him and said that, it showed that they have the ability to break out of their emotion and be vocal with one another in a way that the other person understands, which is so important in relationships. It's so important. And it's sometimes very, very difficult to do. So when that happened, I was like, oh, they're going to be all right because they can talk. That's important. So they go out to talk to the family and ask for everybody's blessing. And this is when Dre is supposed to tell Brandon that he can't be a part of the wedding. So they ask for the blessing and her sisters, Danielle and Stamitra, that's her name, Stamitra, they gave their blessing. OK, her dad says that he stayed calm talking about Dre when she was popping off. And that showed him that he himself needs to try to calm down and have a better understanding of his daughter just by seeing Dre do it. So that made him feel like they were made for each other. The daddy gives his blessing. His sister and mom were really impressed by the way they saw them communicate. So they gave their blessing. All right. Then here come Brandon's ass. And Brandon says that what he saw of LaShonda was not good. It was terrible. It was awful. But he does see a lot of himself in her with the way she goes from zero to 100. But they don't really need his blessing. So they're going to go ahead and do whatever they want to do. It was his way of saying he doesn't give his blessing without actually saying that. But that's fine. Okay, LaShonda was like, I understand that. I appreciate that. I received that. And Dre starts to get emotional. And Dre says, bro, look, I can't. I can't have you in my life because I'm getting, you know, I'm growing up and I realize now that there are some things that have to change and he gets emotional and starts to cry and she leans in and tells him that he doesn't have to do it if he doesn't want to. And he says, no, I got this, even though he was emotional because that's his boy and they've been friends for years. But he says, you can, you know, look at these tears as a goodbye. I said, mm, mm. Looks like he made the decision after all. Now, y'all, I didn't see the ending because my recording got cut off for some reason. I guess this episode went on a little longer, but um, I missed what it said at the end. But I hope they stayed together. Let me look it up and see first. Okay, so I try. Y'all like my glasses? I love these glasses. I got them from Firmo, Firmo link down below in the description box. I'm an affiliate. <laughs> okay, so I tried to find and see if I can find anything on them, but I can't find anything about what happened. Uh, between them but I'm sure they stayed together or got married or whatever but my episode cut off so I didn't see it which is what was most important that they stayed together and that they didn't let Brandon's hater ass you know mess up their nuptials so yeah y'all the episode was really good I enjoyed it I can't wait for next week to see what happened and all of the shows are starting to come back y'all I can't wait marriage boot camp is coming back February 6th so I'm definitely adding that to the video list okay so um yeah I hope y'all enjoy. I don't know if I'm going to be adding anything else because like a whole bunch of shows are about to start coming back eventually and I don't want to overload myself because I still haven't gotten back to my ASMR channel and I have some things I'm planning for that. I just need to get back into it because I haven't done it in months and I feel terrible. So yeah, we're going to work on that. But I love you guys. I hope y'all enjoy the review. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share the video and I'll see y'all in the next one.